Chris, um, what is our next topic? Our next topic <laughs> comes from Deadline, actually. This is great. It is a fantastic time, not only to be a movie and TV fan, specifically an animation fan. Fan. We've mm. got some cool things in the works. Jendi Tartakovsky, who of course is the brain behind Samurai Jack, one of my favorites of all time, creator of Primal, has a new deal with Cartoon Network Studios and Warner Brothers. Animation. He also did the original Clone Wars. He did, and there's some controversy there, right? That ama amazing animation style that still bled in over to the uh, CGI version of yeah, a little bit, but apparently his isn't can canonical. No, but the it's other not, one is. which I loved his. I, I loved actually his prefer too. his, yeah, right? I prefer his Clone War uh, series. I think it was so great. And the thing about Jendi's work that I think is so profound is that it's one of my favorite things about Pixar work too, is the storytelling that happens that's nonverbal. When you can convey an entire story without having to have dialogue, without having to give me all the exposition thrown in, in there verbally, you know, episodes like BoJack Horseman's Underwater episode where there's not a word said, that's the kind of animation that I get very, very excited about. And it's the best use of the medium, in my opinion. Yeah. So I'm very pumped about this. Let's see what Deadline has to say about this deal. So our Emmy-winning creator, producer, and director, Jenji Tartakovsky, director uh, Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack, has signed an exclusive multi-year cross-studio over deal with Cartoon Network Studios and Warner Brothers Animation. Now, under this pack, Jenny will uh, develop, create, and produce original animated programming at both Cartoon Network and WB Animation, intended for a variety of audiences and for all television platforms, including HBO Max, external streaming services, cable, and broadcast networks. So this is a big deal that's going to span a lot. Now, the president of Cartoon Network goes on to say, Jenny is a true visionary who embodies the creative spirit of Cartoon Network Studios. As he continues to push the boundaries of storytelling and animation, we are excited to have a front row seat both here and now also at Warner Brothers Animation. So, I mean, that is just, we've listed a whole bunch of his work and everything. He's won, I think, 13 primetime Emmys. Wow. Um, he's an incredible, incredible mind. I'm very excited about this, especially because it's all types of animation, right? I'm hoping we do get some classic Cartoon Network, more kids genre stuff, and then we get some of that darker, more HBO mm. Max kind of thing. Rob, when you hear about this, what stands out to you? That the axe of Zaslev cuts both ways. Yeah. Sometimes he, he, he taketh away, and but in this case, he giveth. He giveth. <laughs> and no, I think that this is a great move. I mean, I love seeing when studios partner up with creators for the long term. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I started, my first regular job in the industry was working at Warner Brothers for the senior vice president of feature production. And when I was there, Warner Brothers had ongoing deals with Richard Donner and Joel Silver and Clint Eastwood, Mal Paso Productions. So there were people that were on the lot for a long time and they had cultivated these relationships for many, many years. And with the way Hollywood economics works these days, those kinds of deals have gone away those kinds of larger housekeeping deals. So when a studio makes a deal with a creator like this, it means something. It means that there's going to be a lot uh, made. You know, unless you're, say, J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot, where it doesn't mean as much as you might have thought it would have. But this is, I think we're going to get a lot of great stuff. I mean, Warner Animation, a lot of, like, John does is not a big fan of what they've done with, like, the DC universe, but mm -hmm. I actually have liked quite a bit of a lot of the output of, of it. Some of it, like The Killing Joke, I have not liked. That was a big miss. That was a big miss. But, you know, like the Dark Knight Returns two-parter I thought was pretty yeah. good. That The first Wonder Woman film they did was pretty good. But Ooh, yeah. his sensibilities, and if they unleash him on Warner Brothers properties, or he will ask to be unleashed on them, it could be, could be very, very cool. Well, I think you bring up something really great here by comparing the J.J. Abrams situation to with Jendi's. Is do you think because animation, let's face it, is relatively cheaper to to produce and everything? Do you think that right now, particularly with Warner Brothers, it's an animators kind of game where you can really do some fun creative work? Oh yeah, I mean, look what they when you see what they're doing with like Harley Quinn. You know, they're willing to push envelopes in different directions. And I think that if you think about the last 30 years, some of the most culturally relevant programming that we've had, whether it was Simpsons, whether it was uh, South Park, mm -hmm. and even things like Archer, or, there's been so much animation that has entered the popular culture, the lexicon, and even, even our political discourse, uh, that animation has been a vibrant force in entertainment, and it's creator-driven. You know, like Batman the Animated Series with Paul Dini and, and, and what Bruce Alan Tim. Bur and Bruce Tim and, mm -hmm. and Alan Burnett or whatever those those guys. I mean, they really make their mark. And 
I, I hope I see great things happening because of this. Nice. Jonathan, since you are a fan of that original Clone Wars, does this get you really excited to see more of Jendi's work? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always a fan. I, well, I listen right now. I'm just glad we're getting some new content because I feel like the last few news cycles have been this is getting slashed. This is getting cut. This deal fell through. I know this is a deal. It's not, you know, the art isn't it's not inked yet. Right. We don't. But I'm excited about some new content. I like this creator. I love I personally did love his stylized like kind of vision for the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, and his Jedi kicked ass. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, so yeah, I loved I loved uh, uh why am I why am I blanking on uh Samuel Jackson's character? Mace uh, Windu. Yeah, Mace yeah. I loved Mace in that series. Yep. Uh so I'm I am excited for what is to come. And uh and I've also been saying, like, so we we have been talking about the axe of Zaslav. He's really good at cutting the fat. Can he bring in good quality though to replace it? So that's that's what I'm curious to see now, and I think this is a good move. Absolutely. I'm with you. I think this is probably the quality that we needed in this. But only time will tell, right? we got to have those T's crossed, those I's dotted, and we got to actually see the finished products here. So, guys, let us know what you think. Are you excited about this deal? Are you excited to see different types of animation coming through here, different storylines and everything? Or are you going to just kind of wait and see till you can make your own judgments, judgments here? Let us know down in the comments below. Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by ninjas so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely in enthralled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash campia.